Hi there. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to draw tapered lines in Inkscape, as well as fine-tune them to your liking. So let's just get started. First, what we're going to want to do is grab our pencil tool. Now normally, when you draw a line, you simply get a line with no special effects on it, right? But what we want to do is add a tapered line. So, we'll go ahead and just delete this. The easiest way to do this is, with our pencil tool, go up to Shape. And what we'll want to do is select Ellipse. Now go ahead and give that a shot. And there you have it. The easiest way to do a tapered line. Now as you can see, there are some other options up there, weren't there? Under shape, we've got triangle in and triangle out. And I'll show you what this does. Go ahead and draw that. Now as you can see, it tapers only on one end. Because what Inkscape is doing with tapered lines is essentially getting a triangle shape and then stretching it along a path to create a tapered line. So that's pretty neat. And alternatively, you can do triangle out to receive the opposite effect. It'll taper in on this side. That's very cool. So I'll go ahead and delete that. Another neat trick in the pencil tool you'll see is from clipboard. Now what that is, is using a custom shape that you've drawn. So let's go ahead and try that. We'll select from clipboard. But first we need a shape. So go ahead and let's draw some sort of shape. So we've got a square here. Let's give it some color. Give it some black, just to, just so we can see it. Now, let's say we wanted to draw our own tapered line. We could simply just go and squish this down here, and then you'll see, have this stretched over a line, will be somewhat of a tapered effect, right? But what we have to do is actually convert this object to a path. So go ahead. All right, so now we have our object to path. So what we'll do is copy it, Control C, and then we'll head to our pencil tool. Now we have from clipboard selected, so we'll go ahead and draw and see what that does. And there you go. See, it's a nice, thicker, sharper, tapered line using our custom shape. So that's very neat. One thing you may have noticed when drawing tapered lines with this method is that you can't necessarily adjust the width of it. You could try to go ahead and add a stroke to it to adjust the thickness, but what that simply does is adds a stroke over the shape. And as you can see, that's not going to give us the results we want at all. So we'll go ahead and just do, get rid of this stroke here. And I'll show you the proper way to adjust the width of your tapered lines. So what we'll do is we'll go up to Path, and then all the way to the bottom here, we've got Path Effect Editor, and we'll click that. And as you can see, it opens up our new window over here. So let's just, for this example, we'll draw a tapered line with the ellipse. And there we go. Now say we want this thicker, because you can barely see it, right? So we'll head over to our path effect editor with our tapered line selected still. And you'll see down here we've got our value of width. So we can go ahead and adjust this to our liking. Go ahead, fine tune it, type down a big amount. There we go. And as you can see, it still gives that nice sharp tapered line. And we've got some width finally. So that's pretty neat. There's a couple more things I want to go over with the path effect editor using these lines. So say you have a line that you want but you don't necessarily want to redo the line, but you'd like to change the shape. Now this is a pretty cool thing. So what we'll do is we'll create a new shape for our tapered line. Say we want just like a circle like that. We'll go ahead to Path and Object the Path. So to do this, what we'll do is we'll copy this. Next, we'll click our tapered line and head over to our Path Effect Editor. And under Pattern Source, we can go ahead and paste from Clipboard. And there you go. It's a pretty crazy shape, but it did indeed give us our circle. Maybe if we got rid of some of the width. There we go. So you see we didn't get rid of the path at all, but we changed the shape. And that's very neat. Another really neat trick with this path effect editor is we can go over to pattern source and then click edit on canvas. And as you can see, what this does is bring up our shape that we just applied to our line. Now we can actually go ahead and edit this like a regular shape. And we can see the changes real time to our tapered line. Now this is fantastic for fine-tuning your tapered lines. And it's very neat. You can come up with some pretty neat designs, I bet. Look at that. So, that pretty much sums up tapered lines in Inkscape. What we'll do is head to the next lesson, and we'll work with the Path Effect Editor. As you can see, there are a ton of options, and a lot more effects that we can play around with. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you there.